Hey guys, it's Monica. I'm going to give you a quick update. Well, I always say quick and it never ends up being quick, <laughs> but I'm going to give you a quick update on, because so many of you ask and it's like I'm repeating the same thing in the comments a lot. And I know some of you hate Retin-A videos and many of you love Retin-A videos. They are my best videos. So I'm going to go ahead and talk a little bit about the Retin-A and the CBD that I'm using and how I'm using it, etc. So I just had my 66th birthday for those of you that are new to my channel. I have not had any kind of facial treatment done. I've not had any fillers, facelift, um, Botox or anything of that nature. I'm not against it. I may end up having something at one point or another, but currently I have not had anything done to my face. So what I've been trying to do is kind of like be trying to catch up because I was a child of the time frame when, you know, my teenage years, my early 20s, my 30s, you know, nobody, nobody cared about sunblock. It wasn't anything that was on anyone's sort of mind. In fact, it was baby oil, band de soleil, and baking is what we did, at least what I did. And then I used to put the sun in in my hair and all that stuff, if you kind of remember that era. Anyways, I just turned 66, and I started on my skincare journey in 2016. So I've been using Retin-A going on four years now. And it's been a process. It has been a, a learning curve in many ways. I've had ups and downs. I've had awful reactions, but I've had great results. I really have. I looked at a picture of me that I found that was taken six years ago. And I look younger today than I did in that photo. It's so it's amazing to me. So to answer some of the questions or to address some of the questions on my skincare, I use Retin-A. And I do use my Retin-A, you know, probably at least three, maybe four times a week. I don't use it every day anymore, every night anymore, but I, but I use it very consistently. When I use my Retin-A, I normally will mix a little bit of the CBD oil and my squalene oil together. And I use that as my face oil. I've gone from marula oil, from all sorts of every imaginable oil that you can get for your face. Very expensive oils, very reasonable oils. But since I started to use CBD on my skin in conjunction with my Retin-A, my skin has reacted so much better. I still peel. I still have, you know, the dryness, the flaky, but it is probably, oh my gosh, I'm gonna say it's probably about 90% better than it ever has been. So I'm believing that the combination of the CBD and the oil that I mix it with has really helped to make my Retin-A work better in the long run. In better, I mean that I have less reaction, I have less sort of uglies than, you know, you normally would have with your Retin-A. So that said, I do use my CBD oil most of the time, not all the time, I switch it up. I use my CBD oil after I wash, after I tone, at night only, and then I let that sink in and then I apply my Retin-A at night only. That's how I normally do it. There have been an occasion when I've done the Retin-A before the CBD, but I my skin reacts better, I think, with it. I think everything I've read about the CBD, I think it helps your products sink deeper into your skin. So you may or may not want to do that. You may want to you know, use your moisturizer, your oils, if you're gonna use that after your, your Retin-A, it all depends on your skin. I'm not a dermatologist, I'm not a doctor, I'm not anything but a 66 year old woman hoping to not stop the aging clock because I know it certainly is better than the alternative. The alternative is that I'm not here to be talking to you, but to slow it down and but to make it, and I use the phrase anti-aging and I know Mary Ellen after 60 uses, this, uses the same phrase, 
because to me it is anti-aging and it's not that I'm against aging. I just don't want to age any faster than I have to or any worse than I have to. So I don't mind saying anti-aging because that's what I feel like I'm doing. So I, I really believe the CBD oil in conjunction with the Retin-A has been an amazing, ama made an amazing difference. And I have used a couple of different CBDs, the Florin Bass, I started using that. Um, and the Flora Bat and Bass was made to be a face CBD. But it, and I know many of you love it and that's okay. Everyone has different skin, different budgets, different whatever. But the Flora and Bass to me, the CBD amount is far weaker than say what I'm using. So because I'm currently using the Maku CBD, and this is the 2500 milligram bottle. In full disclosure, my initial bottle of Maku was sent to me complimentary in exchange for a review, which I have done and talked about. This is the second bottle of CBD. The problem with this is that my husband Jay is using it as well. So I go through it a lot quicker. But when I use it for my skin care, I usually take a drop and I in the squalene can be right now I'm using the timeless I've used many different brands I've used the ordinary but what I normally do when I use this in my skin is I put squalene on then I do a dab a drop or whatever and I just mix it and I I use it that way because Jay takes this internally for many different reasons. The main reason is the aches and pains that he feels. Like for example, the other day he was going up and down the Londonary staircase and he would never have been able to go up and down those, sca those stairs with his knees and not feel, feel the effects of it. But because he takes some of this, it's really helped him with that. In fact, I'm gonna insert a little clip because every time I look for this, it's gone. So <laughs> I'm gonna go catch Jay, he's outside. What you doing, Jay? Just doing a little shoveling. Yeah? Yeah. Boy, I sure hope spring comes soon. Uh, I'm so sick and tired of winter. You've been shoveling so much. I don't know how you get the energy to do it. I'll tell you, this is how I get my energy. <laughs> Maku CBD oil. <laughs> uh, this really helps. Uh, there was a time when I had gone like three days without using this and all my joints and I just all my little aches and pains came back but when I take this which is the 2500 milligrams uh, this this will get me through the whole day yeah. and no aches no pains so I'm really surprised at how well it works because when I went three days I could feel every everything just hurt you know yeah. I know I probably should exercise more but uh, I just feel that this has really helped those little the little nuances that you get so I mean it's not a cure-all but it for me it just gets rid of those aches and pains yeah every time I go to look for the Maku to put it on my face because I do use it I mix it with my moisturizer I use it on my skin it's like it's gone because Mr. J has it yeah see I'm only gonna take about that much and that'll last me the rest of the day a little drop under my tongue And then you'll be able to shovel a, a path to the motorhome, our friend's motorhome over there, and you'll be able to shovel my parents out. And Oh, yeah. Aren't you not supposed to swallow it? Mm, not yet. Okay. <laughs> so you're holding it. So that's pretty cool. All righty. I'm going to take it because I'm doing a video, and um, I'm going to bring it inside. Thanks so much, Jay. So anyways, now you can see why this always disappears because he does take it. And he's an avid golfer, so he really likes it. This is expensive. It costs a lot more than your Florin Bass or anything of that nature. However, even like I have a coupon, so you can, I'm not, I'm not going to, I don't make anything if you buy anything. So that's no worries there. I'm just going to share the, the you can get some, you can get a discount should you buy it. So, um, but this lasts me. Even with Jay using it, for me, for my skin a lot longer because I'm doing 2,500 milligrams of CBD mixing with squalene, which is giving me a lot more, I hope this makes sense, it's giving me a lot more potency 
per application than any other CBD. And that potency for me has made a huge difference on some of my wrinkles. I'm still there, guys, I know. But some of my wrinkles, but more importantly, how my skin, I think, is reacting to my Retin-A. And this is, these are, I mean, my Retin-A stash. I usually keep my Retin-A in this little container. And you can see I have an A313. This, by the way, is the French equivalent. This is the, you know, every, all the rave. Everyone's saying this is the next, this is better than Retin-A. This is whatever. It's more affordable. It's more this. It's more that. I do have a tube of this that has the real ingredients. I guess there is some controversy over some of these not having the real ingredients. I have the real ingredients. And truthfully, if your skin is anything like mine, if you're my age, um, and you, you know, if you want it, if you want to spend, I think it's going up, but if you want to spend about $30 and get this, go ahead. But uh, truthfully, I would just tell you, don't, don't bother. I really don't feel that this has made any kind of an impact on my skin. I just think it's like hocus pocus or whatever. I just don't think it matters to me. Now, it might matter to you. It might work perfectly for your skin, and that's awesome. It does give you a lovely feeling on your skin of, of being very thick and being very moist. But at the same time, it can also feel very greasy. And I'm not too sure if that feeling that you can get with this is not anything you can get with a super, super heavy-duty, rich emollient moisturizer. You know, I really, I mean, I really think, and I think somebody, I can't remember if it was Sheila or if it's Marlene, if it was somebody else that had said they felt this was sort of similar to Vaseline. A more spreadable Vaseline, maybe, but in either case, I'm sorry if anyone loves this stuff, that's great. I'm glad you love it. I, um, I just don't think it's worth the money, and I, I don't think, and I'm okay with having tried it now for six weeks. I just don't think it would ever, in my world, replace my Retin-A. My Retin-A, my tried and true, my Tretinoin. I love my Tretinoin. I also have the Hydroquinone, which is for the darker spots. Both, all of these I get on Reliable RX. The link is below. I am an affiliate member of that. But I recently became an affiliate member, you know, meaning that I make some a few pennies if you buy one. But I've been using this for so long, and I've been using that site for so long, I feel totally comfortable with it. So I really like that. My Retin-A. Wouldn't be without it. My Olay Pro Retinol. This is the UK version, the white version, that you can only still get. At least I think you can still get it. I'll find out soon. In the UK. So if they no longer carry it in the UK, I'll be a bummer because I really like this for my eyes. And there's many other eye wrinkles, things you can use to go up near your eyes, but this is what I've been using and I use it all around my eyes. And you can get, I mean, just check out a, a over-the-counter retinol product if you want and just check it out and see. But I'm sure you can get an equivalent product for your eyes. So the other thing I wanted to say that I thought was just absolutely, I'm going to insert a photo. I just thought it was absolutely awesome. I got the, this is from the Octoly Network via Foreo. And you know, I love my Foreo Mini. I have the Mini, I have the Mini 2, Foreo 2. I love using it as a, a cleanser. I've talked about it before as a way to clean my skin. But I was totally fascinated by the UFO, the Foreo UFO. And so I... I uh, requested it and actually got approved for it. So I've only used it a couple of times. You all, guys, you all know I love my face masks. I love my face masks. So I have a number of masks that I use. But this is kind of really cool. You have to download the app. And then once you have the app downloaded you and you have this, the hottest thing for me was taking this out of the initial packaging. But you take the protective ring off. You can then, and it comes, it came with a, uh, a, a mask. But then you can put this little mask, if it's daytime, if it's evening, and you can put it on and you put the ring, the protective ring, back over it. And I'm not going to turn it on because I don't want to. But you press the power button right here. And then you would then just glide this when it turns on. If you're doing the night mode or the day mode, it's going to go for 90 seconds. And so it is a quick 
I think a super super quick way to do a face mask and I'm I think this would be awesome for traveling and because it's small it doesn't take up a whole lot of room I really like it so this was sent to me via the Octoly Network and um, I will tell you this this has been really interesting I also like going down my neck because you know your neck is like the first thing that ages you so even though there isn't anything here that specifically says neck it doesn't matter everything I do on my face I'm gonna go down my neck so I'm gliding all the way down in into my I can never say that word decolletage decolletage area and for 90 seconds I'm just getting a really nice nice high intensity face mask quickly other than that, I a lot of times when I mask, I do the sheet masks, I have some clay masks, and I just leave them on for 20 minutes. But on the run, on the go, that's an awesome, awesome mask. And then I top it off at night. I'll top it off with my rose hip. I'll make sure I do my rose hip seed oil. I use my rose hip seed oil every day, going down my neck, into my decolletage. I think I said it right. I love this stuff. So yeah, I love this stuff. I don't use it on my face though. I just use it going down my neck. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping that that kind of clarifies the questions that so many of you have had about how I am using the CBD oil. So I use the Maku. You can use any CBD oil you feel comfortable with. The one that I use, like I said, is high, high potency. So I mix it. And I also use it before I apply my Retin-A. I also, if I wasn't going to apply my Retin-A before, I use my Retin-A on wet skin. You know, and people will say, don't use it on wet skin. Well, the reason you use it on wet skin is, you know, those people that want to, is that it absorbs faster or deeper into your skin. So, um, in fact, I think it was Cody I'm going to treat, see if I can find his video where he talks about the Retin-A and link it below. But I think he was one of the first uh, people, you know, like sort of dermatologists or skincare experts that, that actually said, yeah, go ahead, put it on wet skin. Everyone else was saying, no, no, wait till your skin dries. I've been putting it on wet skin all along. And I've, I thought, I thought it was, I thought it's been fine. So, um. Yeah, so the Retin-A, three to four times a week. There are other things I do on skincare. I don't want to. I don't want to make this an hour-long video, so I don't want to go into it all. But that's pretty well how I'm using the CBD in conjunction with Retin-A. And I use the Retin-A only at night, obviously. And I use the CBD at night and in the morning. So I will use it completely different in the morning than I do at night. At night, it's just, you know, it's to enhance my, my Retin-A and what other treatment I might be doing at the time. So, but face masks, anything I can do to moisturize my skin helps with the anti-aging effect of my skin. So, anyways, hope that clarifies, guys. Thank you so much for being so supportive. And for those of you that are new here, please be sure to subscribe to the channel thumbs up the video, leave me a comment, and hit that little ringy-ding bell so you'll be notified when I update. Thank you guys so much. Talk to you later.